everybody and thanks for joining me today. So I'm just going to give you a, a quick preview. So it's uh, nothing fancy, but uh, still, you may want to know how that is done to apply it to one of your clips. So let's go into um, Video Studio. I'm just going to clear that out. So grab your footage, drop it on your timeline. Uh, grab your FX virus filter, drop it on your footage. Double click and open it. Okay, first off, I want you to reset style. So you go back to default fonts and then type in your text. Update and then close your text window. So here it is. All right, first thing we need to do is go to the text panel where you have your word dude. And you're going to go to your 3D shape, left click, open, and then you're going to tick 3D extrusion. Okay, so now your control panel will change. It gives you more tabs. First thing you want to do, obviously, is move this a bit. So I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to rotate that a bit. And I'm going to flip it towards the back a bit. Uh, so as you can see, my text is now 3D. All right, so what we need to do is we need to apply the, the background onto our word, dude. <laughs> So we're going to go to the textures tab, and then we're going to tick FR, which means front. So this background will only apply to the front of the letters, like so. Now you can make the whole letters if you wish by just clicking all the tabs. So now the whole word is the, the image. So as you can see, uh, back, bevel, extrusion. And, but we're just going to do the front, okay? Once you're happy with that, uh, go to your materials tab, uh, and you've got here type which is plastic. We don't like plastic because plastic is dull. So uh, click on the plastic tab, and then we're going to go for aluminium. Uh, and then we're going to do the diffuse intensity. We're going to crank that up a bit. Uh, it just gives you that little bit more sharpness to the word. Go back to position. Now, technically, uh, you're done. You're actually done with your work because if I press apply and play it, uh, you can see that uh, you apply the uh, the effects or the special effects to the work. So now it's just totally up to you of where or what you want to do with the actual word itself. For, uh, for example, you may wish it to go from from the top to the bottom. So Select your first keyframe, position it to where you want it, and then uh, go into your positions here. Now, by default, it'll be on constant, so you may wish it to accelerate or decelerate. So I'm going to um, pick accelerate. Then I'm going to go to my last keyframe, and then move it right down. And I'm going to flip this thing the other way. Same thing with default. I'll go to so now you'll see that it'll not only go from the top to the bottom, it also will start to move. There you go. So um, that's how you apply or move your texture around, which you probably saw in the other tutorial like that. So I don't need to explain how to do that. Uh, but what I will do, I will show you that you don't just need this uh, background here. You can change the background. Let's say you want the actual background on your letters, but you want um, a photo or a still picture, but you want the video still to remain on your letters. So we go to background and V1, we click on it, and then we go to still image. And then just choose your still image. I'm going to choose this little boy again. So now I've got the still image as my background, so my video clip is still playing on the letters, as you can see. That's pretty cool. So if that's what you want, all you need to do now is fit your still image to your composite window or to your project. So we're going to go to SPEC and by default we'll go square pixels. So we click on this and we're going to go to fit the project size. And now you'll see that it's fit neatly into my project. And I'm going to press apply. And now we have the little boy as the background and my letters with the video clip 
writing on the letters. Now, it doesn't need to be a still picture. It can also be another video. It is totally up to you. But it, then it comes down to rendering in your CPU because it's going to pull a lot more resources. There you go, my friends. Uh, a fairly easy effect, but uh, nonetheless, it's quite powerful. So, if you wish to do something like this, well, now you can. And as always, thanks for watching.